So hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. This is Mel's Gaming here with another Way of the Hunter video. Now we're starting off today's video by purchasing a pass for a brand new piece of private land. This being the Diamond Drill area on Nez Perce Valley. Now I basically decided last night that I wanted to get some more credits and purchase another pass for another area of private land. And I am so incredibly happy that I purchased this particular pass. Not very far from the main sort of cabin for the area, I ended up finding a couple of really good herds of deer. There was mule deer and whitetail deer just along this little bit of river here with some really promising individuals in these herds. I was super super happy to see this and immediately super happy that I had purchased this pass. And I was just taking a look here at this herd to see which individuals I wanted to take out and which individuals I'd like to leave and see if they would get any bigger. You can see we have a couple of two star matures in there and it was just a really good looking herd. It was nice to see so much antler growth on some of these bucks compared to what I'd been seeing on the public land. And you can see there are three star matures in there too. So really, really happy to see some actual, you know, good quality mule deer. Most of what I've been seeing have been very, very small. So seeing some bucks with some really nice antlers, I was very, very happy. Now this particular youngster I didn't think looked very good and I basically decided that I was going to take him out. I didn't think he was going to have as much promise as some of the other individuals in this group and I was just waiting for him to stand up here so that I could get a better shot and also just taking another look to see that there wasn't any other individuals that I thought maybe should be taken out instead but I was pretty confident this one was the one that I wanted to take out. Now as he stands up here I line up for the shot and he just goes behind that tree so I have to just wait a second but then I manage to actually get him there. He sort of freezes after the initial hit and then he starts to sort of uh, hobble away. He's bleeding quite a lot there. I knew that should have been a really good shot and you can see he's stumbling and he really doesn't go very very far before he actually drops and we'll actually be able to see where he goes down from this point and yeah he just goes down just sort of behind this bush here. There you go, you can just about see it, I think. Now, I did mention that there was also a herd of whitetail, and there was one individual in this herd that I am going to be keeping a very close eye on. And when I actually took that shot on the mule deer, they kind of got stuck running up that bit of a cliff. But as you'll see, there is actually a three-star mature whitetail in this group. And there was actually also a four-star. I couldn't get any good footage of him, but there was also a four-star mature in this group. So a three-star and a four-star to keep an eye on and see if they're going to get any bigger. And of course, I will take out any smaller and poorer bucks as time goes on. And hopefully we'll be able to get another five-star whitetail for the lodge. I have seen since uh, the game went live yesterday for people to actually be able to purchase and play. I have seen some different five stars posted for Whitetail and they actually do ha have different rack variations so I'd like to get a couple more and try and get some different racks for the Trophy Lodge and I was really happy to actually see that. It was really cool to see so many people getting cool trophies yesterday. Not absolutely tons of them being posted but a good amount so really really happy to see that. Now, taking a look at that buck, he was only 86% on the genetics. And the more I play this, the more I'm convinced, you know, low genetics, poorer quality, high genetics, better quality. 86% is towards the higher end, but still not something I'm going to be really wanting to leave for that long. I'm looking to keep the 90% and above. That's kind of what I'm thinking at this point in time. So, yeah, no worries about taking that buck out. I was really happy with that decision. Now, I then followed this group of mule deer and spotted another individual I wanted to take out of the same herd. And you can see him here at the back, it's the one that I have the crosshairs on now. And these deer knew I was here, they were alert and keeping an eye on me as you can see them looking at me. But I was just waiting for him to sort of turn and give me some kind of shot because unfortunately that angle I wasn't happy to take a shot and then of course he stopped behind the tree here you can just about see the white speck there between the branches that's actually on his face so I was just waiting and hoping that this guy was going to give me some kind of angle because at this point he really hadn't given me anything now one of the other bucks that he'd been walking alongside did turn and start walking back down sort of towards me so I was hoping that's what he would do and sure enough 
That's exactly what he did. And there, just managed to put a shot into him. And I was pretty happy with that. And yeah, he runs off stumbling. So I knew that must have been a good vital hit. And once again, we actually can see where this guy goes down. He doesn't go very far from that initial shot site, which is always what you want just to save time. And of course, because it's the most ethical shot. And he actually goes down just in there. So really not very far at all. Now, once again, this was a buck I didn't think had much potential and much quality. So this was one that I wanted to take out from this group. A nice single lung shot there brought him down nice and quickly, as you guys saw. And yeah, I just didn't think this guy had really much potential. And yeah, 61.5% on the genetics. Now, once again, there hasn't been any real clarification as to what exactly the genetics mean exactly. But like I said, higher higher quality animals seem to have the higher percentage genetics, lower quality, lower percentage genetics. So I'm always happy to see those lower numbers coming up when I'm harvesting what I what I term to be cull bucks or cull stags or cull bulls, depending on the species. Now I ended up continuing to just explore the area and I found another group of mule deer. And this group had a one star mature. Now a one star mature is something that I definitely want to take out. I'm looking at taking one star adults and one star matures mainly. And leaving anything that has, you know, higher stars. Just to see if they'll grow into anything decent. And one star youngsters, I tend to leave just to see what they'll grow into. Unless they're super wonky, in which case I normally take them. Now I'm going to go for a bit of a different shot with this one here. As you just saw, I just took a neck shot to just drop him on the spot. He wasn't giving me any other kind of angle and I felt like I could now nail the neck shot. I felt like I knew exactly where I needed to aim and sure enough, it dropped him clean on the spot. Now, I can't say that I wasn't pretty proud of that shot. I was really, really happy with that. Neck shots are always satisfying to just see an animal drop, just drop on the spot like that. And that was my first time actually making a successful neck shot in this game. So I was really, really happy with that, actually. And yeah, it's a it's a buck that needed taking out. Again, really low percent on the genetics, 37.37%. So definitely a buck I wanted to take out. But even still, once again, this game just being so satisfying with making shots that drop animals and actually being able to harvest an animal just feels so much more rewarding in this game than in some other games so i was still incredibly happy with how that went now from one intentional drop shot to one that i perhaps didn't mean to make but it kind of paid off so here we can see a one star adult mule deer in this group. Once again, we're in the same uh, piece of uh, property. This is still on that private land that I've just got access to. And I was basically just trying to go through and cull out anything that was small as I was exploring. So I get the range here and take out that buck. And I saw that as soon as I took that shot, he basically dropped. And I thought, oh, that was probably a little bit high. I think that was probably a spine shot. Now, I don't intentionally go for spine shots, even though they drop them on the spot. Neck shots I will go for, but spine shots I just don't like to go for. And yeah, as you can see, it is a spine shot. Now, obviously, that wouldn't be the best shot in real life. And, you know, in certain other games, it's not the best shot to make either. So I always try to avoid those shots. But it was, once again, just a small buck and it did bring him down immediately so at least we got the kill and took that individual out of the uh out of the well the gene pool I, I guess in this game which feels so unusual to say about a video game but another cull buck for basically trying to get some better genetics into my herds now still on this piece of private property that i had just purchased access to i saw that there was like a tiny little some either some kind of little lake or little pond where the river was sort of going into or coming from and I decided to come into this area, which was right in the corner of the map, just to see if there were any animal zones and just see, basically, if animals would go right into the corners of the map. Because I hadn't really gone to the far corners of any map, really, yet. And I came down here just to see what I could find, see what zones I could find, and make notes of what animals were in the area. And I'm just looking and I couldn't see anything. And then I see this group of mule deer, they're actually moving through the water there. Now, scanning across, I saw what I thought might have said five star, 
but then I saw a four star mature so I thought okay that's probably what I was seeing and yeah spotting there just as that herd is moving past I kept seeing four star mature pop up there was a three star mature so I was like okay this is a good herd I hadn't seen a four star mature muley yet and I was like okay we'll make note of this we'll try and get some a good look at this uh, buck and hopefully he'll be a good one to leave and then I could see that there was actually two four star matures and also that three star mature and then that happened five star mature mule deer i couldn't believe what i was seeing right in the corner of the map in a place that i don't you know i wasn't expecting to really even see anything because quite often you get to the very edges of a map in in a game and there's not a whole lot there there still was plenty of animals in this area and there was a five star just waiting there I cannot believe that I chose to buy that pass for this area for there to be a five star mature here because animals do die off in this game. So what's the chances that I decided to buy one of the other passes, didn't come here, never would have known about that buck. Just thinking about that I think is crazy and the fact that there's two four star matures in this group the genetics in this herd are off the charts i was looking and there's just so much antler there just huge huge bucks and you know i was talking earlier in the video that i hadn't seen i don't think the i'd seen until yesterday anything above three stars for a mature mule deer and then to see two four stars and a five star in the same herd i was losing my mind and honestly, I hope that the, the kind of, oh my gosh, comes through in this because it was absolutely insane. And I was in a, a Discord with some of my friends and I was going, oh my gosh, what the heck? Two four stars and a five star. And it, it was to the point where because the four stars were so big as well, that I was struggling to pick them out, like the, the two four stars versus the five star. And I was so worried about shooting the wrong one. Because obviously those two four stars, I want to leave and see if they're going to get any bigger. If they end up dying naturally, then it's not too much of a loss. I'm mainly looking for five star matures to put into my lodges. But even here, I'm trying to... I thought I'd picked out the five star. And I just completely lost confidence over which one it was. So I get the binos back out again, trying to spot which one's the five star. And I just kept seeing the four stars and I'm like, okay, which one is this? I really didn't want to end up shooting the wrong buck. This was so incredibly intense in the weirdest way possible. It was so intense because you don't want to mess up the shot. You don't want to take the wrong individual, which was something I hadn't experienced before. With the other five stars that I'd found, the fallow deer, the red deer and the white tail they were the biggest ones in their group there was no mistaking which one the five star was and this was just completely different and completely wild just incredible to see and i hadn't seen anything like this with just so many big individuals in one area and kind of thinking about it is this what's going to happen if we can manage our herds to like sort of max potential where you'll get loads of big individuals in an area like this because seeing this with like red deer or fallow deer you can just imagine how crazy that would be as well because it's just incre it's crazy to see with these mule deer and i really wanted to see a big mule deer because i'd seen some start getting posted after the game sort of was available for everyone to play i see saw a couple five stars get posted and some big four stars and i thought man i'd really really love to actually find one of those and i i kind of guess that's why i was in this area i was also looking for elk which i didn't see many of i saw some but the mule deer <laughs> the mule deer on this plot of land are absolutely crazy that's what i found the most of and what i found the biggest individuals for and not only that the three biggest mule deer i'd ever seen in my time playing this game were all in the same herd which i can't get over and i know i'm kind of rambling about it but i want you guys to know how much of a shock and surprise that was and i was just completely blown away i was having to concentrate so hard on trying to make sure i took out the right individual making sure that i got the right shot he wasn't gonna disappear or anything because i have seen a couple of people say that they've had disappear disappearing blood trails and i have experienced it once or twice myself 
And so that's why I'm always looking to make these quick, clean shots that are going to take an animal down nice and quickly. That's why I'm always watching to see if I can see what direction they're going, just in case something like that was to happen. Now, the devs are fully aware of that problem if you have experienced it, and they are looking into it as well as a lot of other things. So, yeah, just be aware that the, the devs are really, really brilliant and they are very, very on the ball, which I am so pleased to, to see. Now, finally, I made my mind up that that was the five star. And I took the shot, and I couldn't see the one that I was looking for stumbling. I thought I might have just seen one stumbling in the back there, but I wasn't sure. Quickly, I decided to just go and see if I could find the blood. I found the blood, and then I found the buck on the floor. And I wasn't sure if this was the right one. So I just quickly picked it up, and I was like, okay, that says five stars. I got the right one. I got the right one. Now let's take some pictures. And we'll, I'll pick him up again in a minute and we'll look at the stats. But that's how genuinely I did not know for sure that I'd taken the right one out. Is that I was kind of panicking because I didn't want to lose a five star mature. Because of course, like I said, animals can die in this game. If I'd lost him and then I couldn't find him again, he might have died by the next time, you know, I had caught up to the group. So... I just had to make sure for my own peace of mind that this was the five star before I started taking any pictures. And it was, I got a couple of trophy pictures and now we'll take a look at the harvest screen in more detail. I love that you can pick an animal up and then back out of the harvest screen so that you can check that you've harvested the right animal. Or if you decide that you want to take some trophy pictures because you realise that you have harvested a five star and you didn't realise that you can do that. That's a really just great quality of life thing. Now, I was super happy with that shot. The angle that this buck was stood at, I really couldn't have asked for a better shot. That was pretty ideal for, for that angle, in my opinion. And yeah, definitely really happy with it. Like I said, it brought him down nice and quickly. The distance from the shot site to where this buck was actually led was not very far at all. He was very, very easy to recover and yeah, just ideal. But you can see very heavily sort of quartering, uh, quartering away there. And quite a difficult angle to make sure that you're getting through to where you need to be. But I kept that shot nice and far back so that it would go through forwards and then into that second lung. And yeah, managed to get the double lung shot. But just look at the size of the antlers when you zoom out here on this screen. The antlers on this thing are insane. The frame is incredible. Just an insane looking buck absolutely awesome it reminds me of the classic really big like 220s plus mule deer that's what this buck reminded me of and i was you know just so blown away by like i said by the fact that there was three huge bucks in the same herd and that one of them was a was a trophy buck by just no uh, there was no question about it this guy was a awesome awesome trophy and one that i am incredibly thrilled to have taken now you can see here, five star hunt rating, five star trophy rating, and you can see the genetics are 94.49%. So again, above that 90% mark seems to be your sort of trophy quality animals. Really, really happy with that. He scores 480. Now I've mentioned in previous videos that it seems like 500 is the max for every species in game, that they all have that 500 score max. So this isn't even like a huge one in terms of score it could be 20 points bigger which in my head again is insane but no complaints this this is a trophy and a half to me putting him in the trophy lodge and just seeing that rack what an incredible buck oh i'm so so lucky <laughs> I, honestly i have had such good luck in this game that is actually crazy. I know that this is the fourth video now I've put out talking about harvesting a five star animal. And at the same time I'm saying, oh no, five stars are rare to find. They genuinely are. Finding five stars for the species is genuinely going to be, you know, a challenge. Especially with some of the smaller species and, you know, species that are harder to hunt like mountain goats and bighorn. And... I've just gotten so incredibly lucky to have two five stars on each map now and for them all to be deer species which if you guys have uh, been around the channel you'll know I love deer. I think deer are absolutely incredible. Everything from the moose down to things like musk deer in other games. 
I just love deer species. I think that they're incredible and so unique and awesome. And the antler growth on, you know, obviously the deer species that do have antlers, things like your mule deer, your whitetail, etc, etc. I find antlers fascinating with how many things can go wrong with them. There's just, they're just endlessly fascinating to me. And to get four or five star deer species as my first trophies in this game is also just something i i couldn't i couldn't be happier with i'm so incredibly thrilled i just i'm so grateful and it's been absolutely crazy and i cannot wait to share this video with you guys and yeah hopefully it comes through that i'm still blown away by what happened last night but that is going to be it for this video guys i hope you have enjoyed it another five star for you guys to take a look at and see what kind of size they can get to hopefully this is uh interesting and and useful when i'm talking about the cull bucks and what i look for in those circumstances as well and yeah i just really hope you guys enjoy this thank you so so much as always for watching and your your support everything you do is amazing i you know i'm so incredibly grateful and yeah, just thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.